Good morning. My name is Tobias Bohr, and in the name of the organizers, as well as the macro group here at PSC, I'd like to welcome you to our annual conference. And that includes, as usual, an audience online, on WebEx, and also perhaps on YouTube. But it also, and importantly, includes you here in the room, namely our speakers and discussants and a limited audience in person in Paris in this Jordan campus. And I have to say, I'm very excited about this. For me personally, this is the first in-person, as they say, conference for a, more than a year and a half. So I'm very excited that uh, we made this happen. And of course, I would like to thank those that helped to make it happen, the organizers, the speakers and discussants, um, first of all, but also um, those that helped us sail the seas of the, the, the hybrid sea, as you say. So Julia, you, you met at the registration, and Samuel, who's running around taking some pictures here. Um, we call this annual conference the PSE Macro Days, as you see on your uh, program. And the plural is actually important. It's not just because it's two days, but it's also because it's two different events. In fact, it's two annual conferences for two of our partnerships, sponsored by, respectively, the Banque de France today and the Fondation SCORE tomorrow. And we are extremely grateful to both of those that they allow us to do what we strive for, namely to produce and promote research at the highest scientific level with an aim of improving public policies. And I believe that the latter part, improving public policy, is particularly important right now, where we are hopefully coming out of the acute phase of the pandemic, where hopefully we're going to some kind of normal without knowing exactly what that will be, and we'll talk about that during this conference, but where surely a lot of policy challenges lie ahead. And uh, perhaps you can contribute to those or to make a suggestion on how to solve those a little bit. Let me just say a couple of words about practicalities before I hand the floor to Jean-Olivier. Um, we have reduced the room capacity quite a lot. We have uh, access to green pass, um, and we have reduced the, we have created some space here in front that if the speaker feels very uncomfortable wearing a mask, uh, then it, perhaps he or she can take it off. But in principle, everybody should have the masks on at all times, covering mouth and, mouth, mouth and face. And we should also leave the windows as well as that door open. Um, that will create some noise, unfortunately, but I, we'll have to live with that. Um, the, Coffee and lunch will be served downstairs where you registered. You can get there either through the staircase here or going down at the staircase here in the front. We would ask you to then take your food and coffee and go to the garden um, because the, otherwise there will be plenty of people eating in that little space down there. That is not ideal. Also, we'd like you to congregate not in the room and the hallways, but perhaps outside um, here in the atrium or in the garden down there. That's all I had to say, so now let me give the word to Jean-Olivier, who will say a couple of welcome remarks. Okay. After this long, long, too long period of uh, online only uh, meetings, seminars, conferences, and even uh, social uh, interactions, so uh, I know that uh, there will be also attending uh, people uh, online. And uh, I'm quite sure that this, uh, let's say, uh, mixed uh, hybrid organization will, uh, will be uh, the rule in the future. Uh, I'm quite convinced of that. It means that uh, the COVID uh, crisis has uh, at least accelerated the digital transition and hopefully the ecological transition as well. Anyway, so it was just uh, some words uh, in the lines of uh, Tobias just said, uh, the most important thing to say that I'm very pleased to welcome you uh, here in Paris School of Economics for this uh, two macro days. And uh, Tobias explained what the meaning, exact meaning of these uh, two, two days, uh, two different uh, uh, events, but uh, at the end, the same, who brings together uh, all these uh, you, uh, macroeconomists, and to, uh, to discuss, uh, analyze, uh, the macroeconomic situation and to discuss uh, the papers. So, um, I would say also some special uh, words of thanks to the Banque de France and to the SCORE Foundation for uh, their invaluable uh, support uh, in the framework of these uh, two shares, the International Macroeconomics 
share with the Bank de France and uh, the macroeconomic risk with the SCORE Foundation. I think it's, uh, I'm sure, that they give uh, PEC great support to have a strong uh, research group in macroeconomics. I think that's very important to PEC. I will say some words about that in the next minutes. So, PEC has just decided to even uh, strengthen more the PEC group here. And for different reasons, but the main one that we are convinced that uh, today, even more than yesterday, it is vital for an institution, institution like a PEC to be able to produce good research, very good research, and also very good teaching in macroeconomics. As the COVID crisis has once again demonstrated that well-defined macro policies are essential to preserve well-being in society. And lessons have been learned from the past, especially, I would say, from the Great Recession, especially in Europe. And then we, uh, we had the fiscal uh, stimulus was much more counter-cyclical than uh, this time. And I would say that the policy mix uh, certainly uh, was more optimal. However, uh, like any uh, emerging consensus, um, this view is worth discussing. I'm sure that we'll discussion about that today and tomorrow. And uh, submitting to data. Moreover, um, I would say that the coming months and years are still uncertain. And for macroeconomics, it will be uh, face uh, new challenges. Uh, just in mind, I'm sure again that there will be discussion about that uh, today and tomorrow. I would say uh, how to manage a such high level of debt, private and public debt. How to gradually uh, get out of the liquidity trap in that context of high level of debt. How to avoid inflationary pressures. How to sustain a great demand in the case of supply uh, disruptions. I would say that the, some of the main questions that uh, inherited from the crisis, the COVID crisis. But, uh, as you know, macroeconomics also have to face uh, challenges where that were already uh, there before the COVID crisis. You have in mind uh, the ecological transition on the one hand and the demographic transition on the other hand, something known, uh, maybe something related to the secular stagnation issue. But also, uh, macroeconomics, I think, have to answer to, uh, to the demand society for a new regime of growth with uh, maybe, certainly, with less inequality. So, at the end, a lot of challenges, a lot of issues, a lot of questions. So, and I know that uh, in the program of these two days, uh, a lot of papers which uh, deal, with, deal with these issues. So, I'm sure that this uh, these uh, two days will be very important, and so I'm very, very uh, pleased, delighted that PEC is organizing and uh, is bringing and participating, bringing together so many renowned macroeconomists. In order to lay uh, the foundation uh, for a robust and sustainable recovery first, and uh, certainly uh, a new growth regime, new growth path. Last but not least, I would like to thank, uh, me to start with Tobias. Tobias, uh, Robert plus uh, Francesco, Papada, plus Gilles St. Paul and Axel Ferrier on the PC side for organizing this, uh, this conference uh, with the efficient support of the administrative PC team. Okay, so. I'm sure that uh, these uh, two days will be uh, very successful, very fruitful for macroeconomics and for economics in general. We need that. And uh, we just said to enjoy these days in PEC, here in, on this campus, online, and at some point on the YouTube uh, PEC channel. So, and uh, just to say that I'm so sorry to just to have to leave right now <laughs> for another meeting. But I'm looking forward to 
being with you uh, this afternoon and uh, tomorrow. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a good work. Give you the floor. <laughs>